Welcome to the midterm presentation for Menacing Managers. The team members for Menacing Managers are Brian, Cheryl, Lauren, Mohammed, and Zachary. The summary of our management themes include Episode 1, Planning and Strategic Management, Episode 2, Identifying Decision Situations, Episode 3, Organizational Structure and Design, and Episode 4, Human Resource Management. We are following the journey of a young manager thrust into the management role after a long history of proving himself as a strong worker in the firm. He will find that despite being new to the role, the issues that plague managers present themselves almost immediately, from problem solving to making decisions and understanding the structure of the firm and managing its most important resource, human capital. These lessons will shape how our young manager will grow, as well as the company that is depending upon him. The setting for our story is in a quiet little town in the desert. The history of the firm has been crafted from years of production and a desire for stable profits. Bill, the CEO, grew up learning the business from his father. It was not until the time that Bill took over the firm that technology and science were used to upgrade the firm's production process. There have been many changes in the market, and when the story begins between the exit of existing managers to the promotion of the next generation, Bill has a lot of decisions to make about the company. He has the ability to leave his mark on the firm and create a legacy by making the best product the market has ever seen. This process will tear the fabric of the company, but will ultimately create a stronger and better firm than ever before. Tom is a seasoned manager, having been with the company for over 30 years. Turns out his greed got the better of him when he was let go due to his illegal and unethical behavior. Early in his career, he was honest, but he was... But the way he managed caused him to be comfortable and not willing to grow, but rather use his comfort to purport the fraud and eventually his downfall. Many of the employees had fond memories of Tom, and his departure has left a divide among the remaining employees, and it has to be filled with a strong presence to help stabilize morale and the future of the firm. Colin is an up-and-coming talent within the firm. He has worked for the firm as a representative, but now that Tom has been let go, upper management believes that he would be a great fit for the company's strategic plan. Colin has the desire to rise up through the ranks and is eager to start his new role. Along the way, he had created good friendships with other representatives. Now he will be supervising them. This balance will be tested and define how his path with each decision he has to make. He is not aware, but he must become a strong presence within the firm so that he can cement his future and eventually his role as a good manager. Virginia is a tenured employee who also has a 30-year track record. Her work is diligent and always timely. She has little time for socializing at work and has created a reputation for being solitary in the office. She has become accustomed to the day-to-day -day operations and is slow to adapt to new technology. Her ability to use her extensive history and understanding of the industry helps her navigate the work environment. While she may not always be seen as friendly, she tends to be extremely loyal to those who are loyal to the firm. She has never sought a promotion or been envious of those promoted around her. She is very content to continue her day-to-day -day routine and not look for new opportunities. Phil is a relatively newer employee. Less than five years, he is friends with Colin during and after work. Colin taught him much of what he knows and, his values, and values his opinion and approval. He is happy that Colin has been promoted and secretly feels that he may receive preferential treatment from Colin. Phil is trying to figure out where his place will be in the firm. He is not opposed to the idea of career development, but is content to be stagnant and benefit from the firm's compensation as long as it comes easy. Phil will find the new interaction with Colin may be very different than he expects, but could also be correct in his assumptions of the preference. Bill's father created the firm over 60 years before. Bill had learned much of what he knows from his father and strives to be an industry leader by keeping up with the best talent in technology. He is worried about the misstep with Tom and wants to ensure that that kind of action does not occur again. He believes that Colin will be the manager of the future and he is hoping to bring a wave of optimism through the office with this promotion. Paul is a longtime employee and came up through the business with Tom. While he was later promoted to CFO, he is shocked at Tom's actions and cannot figure out how he did not catch it earlier. He and Bill have been close since he was made CFO and have always had mutual respect for each other's opinion. They both agreed on the promotion for Colin and are excited to see the plan for the future to come to fruition. 
Our target audience are young professionals that quickly rise through the ranks and find themselves in a management role with no experience except what they have observed in the past. They have to learn how to interact with people who were coworkers and are now subordinates, and they also have to learn how to interact with upper management who now see them in a very different light. These interactions present the basis of management themes outlined in our episode. They will also help young professionals understand that there is no one correct path in managing, that all information must be assimilated and used to make decisions, manage resources, and create the overall effective structure they use to manage on behalf of the firm. Our first episode is on planning and strategic management. At the start of our show, Tom has just been replaced with Colin. Colin starts his new position by reevaluating the firm's strategic vision and mission statement. He decides that he would like to add a geographic focus to expand the region that the firm currently markets to. It is his desire to move the company beyond their local customers and possibly one day set a global focus. Being young, Colin is much more open to technological change than Tom was as he is very eager to make these kinds of changes. He also begins the planning period. His predecessor, Tom, had set the firm's objectives without any clear plan on how to achieve them. He intends to change this by setting his action plans and monitoring the implement implementation plan more closely. While Colin has a great relationship with his coworkers, Virginia and Phil, his new position starts to bring out the problems. As he was once their peer, his coworkers must now see him as their supervisor. This becomes a problem that he encounters in future episodes. Episode 2 is on identifying decision situations. Just as Colin is getting used to the perks of being manager, it does not take long before he notices a problem in the office. A problem exists when a manager detects a gap between the firm's existing and desired performance. Work just has not been getting done as ex at the expected rate, so Colin decides to do some investigating to find out what has caused a lack in production. Colin is aware that the situations like this can snowball into bigger problems and that anything short of the organization's goals cannot be accepted. Colin is very aware of Tom's greed, the organization's previous manager, and knows that it is possible that certain things could have been set up in the workplace to benefit him. Colin decides to monitor Phil and Virginia's work ethic, schedules, and production and has found that their schedules do not allow them time needed to complete their work. Here he sees a potential opportunity for an improvement. An opportunity exists when a manager sees that there is a way for the firm to achieve more desirable state than, they're, than they are currently in. Tension is high and deadlines must be met. The team is looking to Colin for answers as he strives to find the way to achieve both productivity and efficiency. In episode three, we focus on organizational structure and design. The CEO of her company has recognized that there have been some scheduling issues as well as a lack of production. He requests to have a meeting about it with Colin, the new young manager, to talk about what kind of restructuring can be done within the organization in order to succeed. They realize that there has to be a major change within the company or otherwise production may be affected even more. Colin realizes that some of the employees are much better at doing different jobs than others. He decides to separate them based on their skills. This increases production tremendously. His, he applies his knowledge of task differentiation to the job. He sets up meetings with the employees to discuss how and what they will be doing in order to ramp up production. In episode 4, we will be focusing on human resource management. Colin realized that it was up to him to work further into the human resources process in order to properly approach this scenario. He realizes that human resources has yet to implement proper job analysis. This can be done in many organizations during a strategy change. A properly completed job analysis would help Colin determine the scope, depth, and skills knowledge that would be needed for each position. When a job analysis is complete, Colin decides that to reach optimum efficiency that some of the positions that human resources had just defined would need to be filled by new talents as well as existing talent. Colin gets the CEO to see things if he wants to grant the responsibility of scaling up his team and reaching the new levels of efficiency. Colin starts a full-scale recruiting and selecting program for new talent. In order to meet the new heights of that he had discussed with the CEO. Because of Colin's meticulous analysis, his team was now operating with new talent and more efficient levels than ever had been achieved in his department. Everyone was satisfied with his progress. 
The CEO sees the progress that Colin is making. He decides that he wants to expand the operation that he and Colin had created to other departments in the company. Now that we have outlined episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, here are the episodes that are still in developmental phase. Number 5 will be organizational change and development innovation. Number 6 will be communication and negotiation. And number 7 will be motivation, leadership, and trust. Our goals for the second half of the semester are going to be finish filming the episodes, submitting milestones three and four, submitting the final Finger Puppet TV show, and continue to receive great marks and eventually receive an A in the management course. Our show will succeed because we as a group can effectively communicate, develop, and produce tools that help young managers learn the ropes of management. We will continue to work to our fullest potential with the expectation of earning full credit for the course. We will use these experiences to help our own management careers and also identify where we can assist other managers along the way due to our hands-on experience in this course.